For Wednesday's homework, the question says, Mrs. Quintana knows that the perimeter of her room is 124 feet. The width of one side of her room is 26 feet. What is the length of the classroom? Okay, so what do we know? We know that length, or that length plus length and width plus width equals perimeter. If they gave me the perimeter of the width of this side is 26 feet, I also know that the width of the other side is 26 feet because this is a rectangle. So what I would start by doing is subtracting 26 from 124. That is my total perimeter. So 124 minus 26, can't do this, so this becomes a one, and this becomes a 14. 14 minus six equals eight. I'm gonna have to borrow over here, this is a zero, and instead of being a one, this becomes an 11. 11 minus two equals nine. I'm going to subtract my other side now. Sorry, I can't do that. That's a, it's called a run-on equation. We want students to recognize not to do that. That's a shortcut way of solving it, but everything between the equal signs wouldn't be equal. So I'll start over here. 98 minus 26. 8 minus 6 equals 2. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So I have 72 left. This makes up both of my lengths. So I would need to divide it by two. Since 72 is an even number, I know I can split this directly in half. So <clears throat> first I would start by splitting up 70. That's 35 and 35. And then if I split that two, I would just be adding one to each side. So I know that 36 should be the length of each of these sides of Mrs. Quintana's classroom. But just to check myself, if I add those back together, I should get back to 32. 6 and 6 is 12, carry the 1. 3 and 3 is 6, plus 1 is 72. So the answer to my question, what is, your, what is the length of the classroom? It is 36 feet.